A nature walk adventure. Learning English outdoors. Hey Beatrix, isn't it a beautiful day for a nature walk? It really is, Richard. I'm so glad we decided to do this. The weather is perfect. Absolutely. So, have you been on many nature walks before? Not as many as I'd like. But I do enjoy them whenever I get the chance. What about you? Oh, I try to go hiking at least once a month. It's my way of disconnecting and recharging. That's a great habit. Nature has so much to offer. What's your favorite part about hiking? I love the tranquility of it all. The sounds of the birds, the rustle of leaves underfoot, and the fresh air. It's refreshing. And you? For me, it's the views. Reaching the top of a hill and looking out over the landscape. It's breathtaking. Indeed it is. Oh, look at that bird over there. Do you know what kind it is? I think that's a robin. They're pretty common around here. Have you seen any wildlife on your hikes? Yes, quite a few times. Deer, foxes, and once, I even saw a badger. Wow, that must have been exciting. I've only ever seen deer from a distance. It was. Every hike brings something new. That's what I love about it. You never know what you'll encounter. True. And it's a great way to learn and practice English too, talking about all these experiences. Absolutely. Describing the scenery, the animals, and the whole adventure really helps with language skills. Speaking of which, I've been trying to improve my vocabulary. Can you teach me some nature-related words today? Of course. Let's start with flora and fauna. Flora refers to plant life and fauna to animal life in a region. Flora and fauna. Got it. This is fun. What else can you teach me? How about terrain? It refers to the landscape, whether it's rocky, wooded, or mountainous. Terrain, that's a useful word. This is making the hike even more enjoyable. I'm glad to hear that. Learning in nature, there's nothing quite like it. Definitely. I'm looking forward to our next nature walk already. Me too, Beatrix. Me too. Let's make this a regular thing. Agreed. And let's keep learning and exploring together. A Day in the Park, Oscar and Nancy's English Adventure Hi there. This bench seems to be the only one not taken. Mind if I sit here? Of course not, please do. It's a lovely day to be in the park, isn't it? Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. The weather is perfect. By the way, I'm Oscar. Nice to meet you, Oscar. I'm Nancy. Do you come to this park often? Not as much as I'd like, but whenever the weather is nice, I try to visit. It's great for a bit of relaxation. How about you? This is my go-to spot for reading. The tranquility here is unmatched. What book are you reading, if you don't mind me asking? It's a novel about an adventure through Europe. Very captivating. And you? What brings you here today? Just needed to clear my head. Walking in the park always helps. Plus, I enjoy people watching. 
you can learn a lot about life just by observing. That's quite true. Sometimes, I find the stories unfolding around us more intriguing than the ones in books. Couldn't agree more. Speaking of stories, have you lived in this city long? Yes, most of my life. It's changed a lot, but I love it. What about you? Are you a local? I moved here a couple of years ago for work. Still discovering new things about the city. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? Always something new to discover. Exactly. Do you have any recommendations for places to explore? Definitely. There's a little cafe not far from here, hidden away. It's a gem. I'll write it down for you. Thanks, Nancy. I'll check it out. Maybe you'd like to join me there sometime? I'd like that. It's always nice to make new friends, especially in such a big city. Great, it's a plan then. Here's my number. Let's keep in touch. Will do, Oscar. Looking forward to it. Same here. Well, I should get going. But I'm glad we met today, Nancy. Me too, Oscar. Enjoy the rest of your day in the park. You too, Nancy. Bye for now. You too, Nancy. Bye for now. Everyday Banking Simplified, Opening an Account, Managing Your Money, and More. Hi Fiona. I'm thinking about opening a new bank account but I'm not sure where to start. Can you help me? Of course, Albert. Opening a bank account is the first step to managing your money. Do you know the difference between a savings and a checking account? Not really. Can you explain? Sure. A savings account is for storing money you don't need right away. It earns interest over time. A checking account is for daily use, like buying things and paying bills. I see. I guess I need a checking account then. What do I need to open one? You'll need some identification, like a passport or driver's license, and sometimes proof of address. Each bank has different requirements, so it's best to check their website or visit them. Got it. And what about managing my account? How do I make sure I don't spend more than I have? Great question. Most banks offer online banking, where you can check your balance, pay bills, and transfer money anytime. It's also wise to set a budget and track your spending. Online banking sounds convenient. Can I also withdraw money from any ATM? Yes, but be careful. Withdrawing from your bank's ATMs is usually free, but other ATMs might charge a fee. Good to know. And what if I need to send money to someone else's account? You can do that through online banking too. You'll need their account number and sort code. It's straightforward once you set it up. This is all really helpful, Fiona. One last thing, what should I do if I lose my debit card? Immediately contact your bank to report it lost or stolen. They'll cancel it and issue you a new one. It's also a good idea to review your recent transactions for any you don't recognize. Thanks, Fiona. I feel much more confident about banking now. You're welcome, Albert. Remember, managing your money wisely is key to financial health. Don't hesitate to ask your bank for help or advice when you need it. I definitely will.
Thanks again for all the helpful information. Fresh Flavors at the Café, an English conversation with Owen and Annabelle. So Annabelle, what did you get? Your drink looks pretty colorful. I went for the tropical mix, pineapple, mango, and a dash of lime. It's like a burst of summer in a glass. What about you? I chose the classic orange juice. Can't really go wrong with that, can you? It's fresh squeezed. Absolutely. You know, it's funny how something as simple as a fruit juice can be so refreshing. It's the little things, right? Speaking of which, this cafe has a nice vibe. It's cozy and inviting. I agree. It's the perfect place for a chat. Plus, I've heard their homemade cakes are delicious. Have you tried any? Not yet, but that carrot cake in the display is calling my name. Maybe after the juice. Oh, you should definitely try it. By the way, how's your new photography class going? It's going great. I'm learning so much about lighting and composition. It's really exciting to capture the world through the lens. Sounds fascinating. I've always wanted to learn photography. Maybe you can show me some tricks? For sure, it would be my pleasure. We could even come back here and practice taking some artistic shots of the cafe. What a wonderful idea. Let's plan for next weekend. It'll be fun to see what we can capture. It's a date. And speaking of dates, have you been to the new exhibition at the Art Gallery? Not yet, but I've been meaning to go. Contemporary art is something I've always been curious about. Me too. Maybe we could check it out together after our photography practice. That sounds like a perfect day. First photography, then art. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Here's to new experiences and fresh fruit juices. Cheers! Cheers. New Friends at School, a story of kindness and connection. Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a special story to share with you, don't we, Bianca? That's right, Charles. It's a story many of us can relate to making a new friend at school. It's about kindness, openness, and how simple acts can forge lasting friendships. Exactly. So, let's dive into our story. Imagine it's the first day of school, and there's a new student in class. Let's call him Alex. Alex is a bit nervous. He's in a new school, in a new city, and doesn't know anyone. He's sitting alone at lunch, looking around, hoping to make a friend. Then, there's Emma. She's been at this school since last year, and she notices Alex sitting by himself. She remembers what it felt like to be new and decides to say hello. Walking over to Alex, she says with a smile, Hi, I'm Emma. Is anyone sitting here, pointing to the empty seat next to Alex? Alex looks up, a bit surprised but relieved. No, it's free. I'm Alex, he responds, moving his backpack to make room. Nice to meet you, Alex. How's your first day going? Emma asks, sitting down. It's a bit overwhelming, but I'm managing, thanks. How about you? How's your day? Alex replies, already feeling a bit more at ease. They continue to chat about their favorite subjects, what they like to do after school, and even discover they both enjoy the same band. And just like that, a new friendship begins. All it took was a simple gesture of kindness and the willingness to reach out. This story reminds us that making a new friend can start with a small step, whether it's a smile, a hello, or an invitation to sit together. 
Absolutely, Bianca. And to all our viewers, we want to hear from you. Do you have a story about making a new friend? How did it start? Share your stories in the comments below. We love reading your experiences and thoughts. They inspire us and, who knows, your story might just inspire someone else to make a new friend. Before we go, remember, kindness is a language that everyone understands. Don't be afraid to speak it. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed our story and message today, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Stay kind, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Speak naturally. Master basic English with the elements around us. What do we drink when we are thirsty? We drink water. What grows in the soil? Plants grow in the soil. Why do we need air? We need air to breathe. Where does rain come from? Rain comes from clouds. What do we call water in its frozen form? We call it ice. Why is the soil important for plants? Soil gives nutrients to plants. How do fish breathe underwater? Fish breathe using gills. What happens when water boils? When water boils, it turns into steam. What can we find in the air besides oxygen? We can find nitrogen and carbon dioxide in the air. How do trees help our air? Trees produce oxygen. What do we use to measure temperature? We use a thermometer to measure temperature. Where does Simon go to swim? Simon goes to the lake to swim. How does Barbara help her plants grow? Barbara helps her plants grow by watering them. What can pollute our air? Smoke from cars can pollute our air. Why do we wear coats in the winter? We wear coats to keep warm. What country is known for its rainy weather? England is known for its rainy weather. How can we save water at home? We can save water by taking shorter showers. What do you need to make a snowman? You need snow to make a snowman. Why do we need to protect our environment? We need to protect our environment to keep our planet healthy. What happens to water when it freezes? Water expands when it freezes. I hope these examples are useful for your English learning. Thanks for watching.